All right, heading down to Harbor Freight. Uh, I got that there, thirty percent off coupon right now for uh, Inside Track Club members for I believe what twenty dollars and under. There's a couple of Icon sets uh, I'm gonna try to grab. I've also got some Harbor Freight money that I can use too, so that'll help. With, you know, pretty much essentially get some stuff free. Um, not free because I had to spend money to earn that money but I don't have to come anything out of pocket right now obviously um, but yeah so we've got a few items now they got that parking lot sale tomorrow I uh, uh, believe it's at August 12th I think our early access for inside track uh, club members so I'm gonna definitely scoop up some stuff they got the bit set I believe going for uh, $25 the icon bit set and then I believe they also have 40% off of Icon Ratchets. I'm gonna try to order a few of those as well too. Um, so I don't know if it's a one-time use coupon or what, or if there's a limit. So I gotta go home and read the fine print on that. But, uh, you know, gonna try to save as much money. Obviously I've uh, been putting a, uh, together the, the toolbox for my daughter these sales that'll help save a lot of money instead of paying full price so let's go ahead and head down to harbor freight see what we can get uh, pick out for So there we have it. Again, here's a seven piece wobble socket uh, extension, set, extension set. So it comes with a, a half inch drive, looks like a 10 inch, and then a six inch, uh, three eighths, half inch. Uh, this is probably a five inch right here. Four inch quarter, little two inch uh, quarter, three inch, uh, Three eighths, and then a one inch three eight. So, really nice set. I love how, even though Icon kind of copies Snap On's designs and and their trays, I like the fact that it comes with the trays. And I mean, it's just dirt cheap. So, the wobble extension set is twenty four dollars right now, and then this is the hex socket set and metric comes with. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, eight piece set right there. And then the Torx bit set, we got uh, T8 all the way to T55. So, really nice set. Same thing with the hex bit sockets. Got the knurling on the bottom. And then extensions, they have the knurling on the, the shank as well here. So really nice. So let's get a, a ratchet on there, test it out. So here's the extension. Not a bad fitment. So it is kind of like the uh, Wobble Plus where if you leave it out, there's the wobble action and then you push it in further. It's like a straight extension. So Yeah, 
pretty nice overall. So it does have, uh, with the Torx bits, uh, some of our, I think from T8 all the way to T25, a quarter inch drive, and T27 on up is 3 8 drive. And then same thing on the extensions. Push all them in, like a Wobble Plus. It's like a straight extension, so really nice. So for these two sets, each one are $19. So pretty good sets. Uh, let's get the half inch out. We can get it on there. That's a 3 8 So the nearly cut's really nice. I like the feel of that. Good fitment overall. Half-inch socket. This one. So same thing. Got the wobble. So really nice sets. Uh, I mean, just basic hand tools. They they do really good for the price. You can't beat that. I mean, so plus ship. So subtotal was about what sixty five dollars, um, and then plus shipping. I paid for shipping. I didn't have time to run out there for what six ninety nine or whatever. So so a little over seventy dollars for all three of these shipped to the door. I mean you can't really beat that. That's a really good deal. So so again, uh, this is for my daughter's toolbox. So as as this stuff goes on sale, I'm just going to buy them piece by piece like this and then just build her, her socket drawers up and stuff like that. And then I'll fill it all the way up. All right. I sat there for a long time deciding what I wanted to, what kind of brand I wanted to fill her toolbox up with. Um, you know, I contemplated if I wanted to do Craftsman uh, or Husky or whatever. Uh, as far as budget wise, I didn't obviously want to spend too much money because I'm, fill, you know, I'm filling my toolbox up obviously, and I spent a lot already in, as far as investment. Um, but I figure with Icon, it's a really good brand in terms of the quality and the price for what you're getting. Um, you know, regardless of where you know what it is compared to a tool truck brand, but for a, a kid, you know, that's to me that's a good start off and that, that's a good investment. Uh, for long term even so as she's growing up she's gonna be able to use these tools and uh, they should last her and if there's any problems we can just obviously hop down to Harbor Freight and and warranty it out so um, some to kind of and plus to kind of alleviate uh, the cost as well I'm gonna be able to take some of my icon tools I have currently and kind of start filling it up um, and transferring it over there now obviously that's in my mobile setup but Again, um, as she wants to use the tools, I figured we'll just go ahead and put the stuff in there. And over time, as stuff goes on sale, I can kind of replace it and then transfer it back over. But obviously, as I need to do do work on the side, you know, I can just kind of take them in and out if I need to. So that's the plan for now. We'll see how it goes. So since I'm doing that, I guess I need to do start doing a better job of cleaning off this stuff. After I get done with working on cars, um, that is the bad thing about the red. It does soak oil and grease up pretty good. Um, now, I'll probably end up tearing these, using a lot of these towels up. What I'll probably do is, a uh, buddy of mine told me a trick use WD-40, so let's try that. So you see it's still kind of stained, so we'll, Plus he said it helps kind of protect it too. I do this with my sockets primarily, um, especially the impact ones. But yeah, I'll look. 
comes off pretty clean pretty quickly so good as new anything else we got and throw it in there she's gonna be excited she's been waiting for these these took almost 10 days to get here so i ordered these 10 days ago All right, so there they are. Majority of the Icon pliers. I know there's some more out there that I probably don't have yet. I think the pistol grip ones, uh, the screw extractor ones. Um, I haven't had a need for those. That's why I haven't got those, but I'll probably get some more. I'm gonna get another plier wreck eventually uh, once I find one on, for a decent price on eBay. Um, so yeah, between that and this drawer, we're starting off pretty good for her. Little princess is gonna be happy. All right, guys. So I just wrapped up at Harbor Freight. So I picked up some more zip ties. I always grab and usually zip ties whenever I'm down here. Uh, a little three-way extension. All right. First icon set is this half-inch eight-piece metric uh, Allen set. This one's on clearance for 19 bucks. this six piece e-torque set this thing was on set on clearance as well for $19 and then this Torx bit set this is also $19 this wasn't on clearance this is normal price so I went and got that and then I got this uh, wire stripper let me see I believe that one was uh, $14. And then this four piece adapter set. And this one was $10 is what I spent. And then uh, the adjustable uh, slip joint. And then this one ended up being. Come on. This one was just regular price $21. So, all in all, with my Harbor Freight money, I ended up spending $44 out the door at the tax. So, that was a good tool haul. Gonna have some really good goodies in our toolbox today. Uh, I will go online tomorrow for the parking lot sale. Hopefully, uh, be able to grab some ratchets as well as the little bit set. So that'll be good. So I think with this one, uh, what he said was it was being discontinued. So I actually went back to the clearance section where it was supposed to be at. It wasn't there. He said he had two in stock, but luckily he was able to find it in the back room because they hadn't moved it up yet. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it for the day. I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, head on home. All right, so there's the prices right there. You can see anything that was under $19 became, uh, had to took the 30% 30, 30 off. So it was each item. It's not just one single item. All right, so got everything here. Uh, not bad for a $44 tool haul. Uh, so we got the 
half inch hex, E Torx, 3 8 Torx, four piece adapter set, the push button slip joint. Um, these are supposed to be like the screw extractor pliers or whatever, the inline wire strippers, uh, this little three way connector adapter, and there's some zip ties. So we'll get these open and put in the toolbox for. All right, so there we go, guys. We got six ratchets from the parking lot sale today. It's the one where they got the 40% off all the Icon ratchets. Uh, doesn't matter. So if you got the straight ones, flex heads, swivel head ones, they are 40% off. So if you, I believe it is for the inside uh, track club members. So if you have that membership, make sure you go down there and uh, pick you up a set of them or at least one or whatever. I mean, you can't beat these deals. I've, I've not seen one yet. I think usually if you get a coupon, um, where you it's normally still limit one, but this one, there is no limit. So I grabbed every single other one that we don't have yet. Uh, we've got the flex head ones right now currently. Um, now it doesn't come uh, cover breaker bars. It's strictly just ratchets. So make sure you go down there and uh, check them out. Let's go ahead and get these opened up. All right. So we got them out of the box. Let's go ahead and go through each one of them. We'll start on this side and work our way over. So we've got the Icon half inch straight handle ratchet here. Um, so already got the flex head. But yeah, there you go. Close up look of it. It's got the comfort grip on there. So I did get comfort grip for her. So that way it'd be a lot comfortable for I I myself prefer comfort grip anyways. I uh, grew up using uh, just regular straight metal, you know, just standard handles. Um, with no comfort grip on them and after a while they do hurt your palms uh, but these comfort grips they are fantastic um, so there you go and then on the other on staying with half inch we went ahead and picked up the half inch uh, swivel head ratchet so you can go all the way back and forward great looking ratchet And then, cool, kind of kind of do the same order here. So 3 8 straight handle ratchet here, comfort grip. And then over time, we'll probably open all these up and get them lubed up. It definitely sounds like I need some lubrication in there, uh, which is something I do with all my ratchets anyways. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it, see me do it on the channel. I, uh, Take them all apart. I put some of the super lube in there and they work perfectly. Okay. All right, so again, three eighths. Swivel head, great looking ratchet. And I do love how they come with these uh, full molded cases. And then obviously now I have a ton of these uh, wipes or towels or whatever. All right. So swivel head, quarter inch drive, ratchet. And I do like the fact that, you know, you can use it in this position as well. So that's, that's a great feature of these, these swivel heads. Um, all right, last but not least, quarter inch straight handle uh, ratchet. Definitely sounds rough. Need to put some lube in there. All right, but overall investment wise, I mean, you're, you're talking to probably about um, less than 20 bucks for the quarters, probably or around 20 bucks, pretty much and then mid 20s for each of these other ones, the 3 8 and the half inch. I think uh, the 3 8 are right around 39, so plus 40% off, so 20, I think it was like 23 or something like that. Um, with the half inch drives, I think they're about 49. So coming down upper 20s, I think like 28. I don't have my receipt on me, but this is all in my vehicle. But again, I mean, um, all of these ratchets out the door, I'm probably looking under $150. You're not gonna be able to find that anywhere else uh, for a good ratchet set. Um, 
or even just one ratchet. So if you're looking just to buy one ratchet, now's the time to buy it. If you're okay with Icon brand, if you're looking, if you already got the Icon brand, which I um, I highly recommend. I've not had any failures with them. Um, they've been fantastic. Now, like I said, I'm gonna open all these up myself and throw some of the super lube in there. And I've done that to my Snap-on ratchets. I've done it to my Matco ones, Mac ones, and they all work flawlessly. I've had no issues with them. Uh, now my Metro ones, before I started using Super Lube, I've, I've gone through a few of those and, and tore up the gearing on them. Um, and I didn't use a synthetic grease on it, but uh, once I went to Super Lube on those, never had any issues after that. Uh, I think the Metro ones lasted about seven years before I had to go warranty it out um, or send it in, out, uh, in my, my case. But, but these Icon ones, the ones I have that I've been using for my mobile setup, I've not had any issues with those, um, and they all have super lube in them right now. So uh, that's just my recommendation. Y'all can do what you want with yours. Um, I know most people say, well, you, you know, you should be able to buy it and, and you know, not have to worry about that stuff, which is kind of true. But at the same time, it's like when I buy my own vehicles, I do my own first oil change. I always do the break-in oil change on them. So, again... It's all preference. This is just how I'm doing it. So, I mean, I'm not telling y'all what to do, but this is what I do with my ratchets. All right, guys, let's go and get these in the box and lay it out for her so that way we can see how it's done. All right, so here we go. We got all the half inches over here, starting with the long flex head and then the straight handle and then the short flex head. And then we've got the three eighths here, swivel head, flex head, um, break a bar and then the short handle and then the swivel head okay and then going up top here we got the quarter inch flex head quarter inch straight quarter inch swivel handle and then swivel head i mean and then the extensions there so overall looking really good i'll probably move the adapters up here let's go ahead and do that right now fill in that spot so anything ratchet related drive related it'll all go into there so looking good fills the drop very nicely and with the pliers in there the wire stripper and this slip joint right here so there's that got plenty of ways to go Well, I totally forgot to record it, but finally broke the 200,000 mile mark on this truck, so pretty good. You see no check engine lights so far either on this tune. So the tune's been doing pretty good. Uh, stock 87 tune on the uh, Diablo tuner, so pretty happy with it. Performance, drivability has been really good as well too, so I'm going to stick with it. Keep rolling. Let's see, truck's been running pretty good at this mileage, and can't complain.